Okay, this is a little bit about banjo uh, music theory. This is a, the D position on the banjo. You got this finger, that finger, that finger, and then this finger here. So that's a typical bar chord that we use on the banjo, and that's a D. You don't play the fifth string, because it doesn't go with the D. Uh, so you just play the four strings. Now if you want to move this up as a bar chord, uh, if you're not familiar with how to do it, watch my little thing about the piano on basic music theory. But if you move from a D and you just slide it up one, that's an E flat. And if you slide it to here, that's an E. Now you would think, well, if I slide it one more, that will be a F flat. But if you look on the piano keyboard, there isn't a black key between the E and the F. So when you slide this next one, you get to the F. It's just like this F here, except it's up here. So that's the way you can go up the keyboard, and then you go F sharp right here. And then here's G. This is a very common playing position for banjo players. This is G position right there. This is the eighth fret. And so a lot of uh, songs are built off of this eighth fret G, and it's using what we call the D uh, bar chord position. So, and it's because it starts here with the D. Uh, another position that we use is the F, you know, if you play the guitar, the F is like that, but banjo, this string, is tuned to a D rather than an E, so you always have to move it up two frets from whatever you play on the guitar, so if you were using that on the guitar for F, you have to add your pinky here. So that's the F position, and you can move it up to get chords, so like F sharp G. G sharp A and keep way on up the neck. So that's uh, the second. So here's the D that you can use for bar chords, and here's the F. And of course, the neat thing about the banjo, you could play the banjo in five minutes because you can bar it like this. It's tuned to an open G, so that's a G, nothing held down. Here we have an A. And there's on the keyboard on the piano, you know, there's not a black key between B and C, so you don't have anything called a C flat or a B sharp. You can just go right here to the C, C sharp D. So you can play a, a song in G just by putting your finger here or there, you know. So. Oh, McDonald had a farm. shouldn't have done that during the middle of this video because I didn't think about it how to play Old MacDonald the chords but down in the valley valley so low that's the D hang your head over hear the wind blow C in there too, so I was just using an open G right there for the D and right here for the C. And uh, then, of course, if you want to play the banjo uh, and you haven't ever played before, this is one of the minor. This is a D minor, so you can slide it up the key, keyboard two. So this would be an E flat minor, and I'm just going to play the three strings that I'm sliding up. right on up and this is the E minor this is also an E minor so another bar chord you can do is you know that E minor to right there F minor you know there's not a black key between E and F on the piano so from E to F is just a half a step whereas F to G is a whole step or two frets so there's your minor position and you can go all the way up the neck uh, one or two frets at a time to figure out what's the chord position.
So if you want to play something up here on the neck, you'll know where to go to. Sorry I messed up on that uh, uh, old MacDonald or whatever it was, but you get the basic idea of how to move chords up the neck of the banjo. In case you want to use it in your praise band and you've never played the banjo before, might be something you want to try. Good.